What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the weekly vlog. And this week, I'm headed to Charleston, South Carolina. This is my first time in Carolina. I've never been here. I have no clue what to expect. But I'm actually here uh, with one of my business partners, Jermaine Watkins, out here with the Ford Financial Crew. He's actually having a weekend called Movement Weekend for his insurance agents. And it's all about events, right? Being able to come together with like-minded people to really discuss goals and just have community so that you can really have the energy that's needed to really fulfill all your dreams and all your goals. So shout out to the whole Forward Financial crew for welcoming me. I had a chance to speak and pour into them on the power of social media. And this is just a great group of people. They're serious about their goals. They're serious about business and they're a whole lot of fun. Um, my journey in the insurance industry. I love it. Here's that. Mike. And with that, Miss Sophie, I want you to come up and rock this space. Yeah. 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 How y'all feeling? Yeah. How y'all feeling? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I know most of you guys never seen you before, and it's exciting because, you know, this is the first time I've but well, something that's big for me guys is energy. Okay, I'm a big believer that high energy yes. is high income. So we gotta we gotta get the energy up. So we're gonna try this again. How y'all feel it? So I just wrapped up my talk here at Movement Weekend with all these incredible people in South in Charleston, Carolina. Bunch of our insurance agents. Y'all, if you need insurance, I know a whole lot of people who can help you out. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and really just tap into everything that we're doing. I'm super blessed for being in a position to share with this group of people. We had lunch by Rodney Scott. It's a popular place in South Carolina, and the food was really, really good. I'm in the bathroom here now. One thing I, I think is pretty cool about this event space, check this out. They got mouthwash in the bathroom. I love that. You know they got the little stuff, but this is pretty dope effect, the mouthwash. That's pretty cool. So after the event, we headed to a pool party that the group was having, but I didn't know about it. So I had to make a quick pit stop to Marshall's to just grab a quick outfit. Now, and we just wrapped up Movement Weekend for mm -hmm. Forward Financial. This is Samantha here, y'all. What's up? She's killing it in the game. But then they told me that we, they having a pool, pool party. I ain't got no pool party clothes. <laughs> so Samantha was kind enough to bring me the quick, quick stop to Marshall's. Right. Y'all know you can find something in there all the time. But I'm gonna let y'all see what the outfit hitting for in like five seconds. Y'all, South Carolina was a vibe. The weather was amazing. It was like 90 degrees. Y'all see the outfit. I was able to pull something together for like 20 bucks in Marshall's. <laughs> Jermaine, I just gotta shout you out again, bro, for bringing me and introducing me to the Carolina so we vibes. Had the pool party. Got some chicken on the grill. South Carolina is a little vibe, but it's because I'm with good people and. One thing this taught me is you gotta always be building relationships with people outside of where you're from because I'm telling you, relationships, y'all, are worth so much more than money. And build them because you're genuine. Don't build them for an ulterior motive. Build them because you really wanna help someone win. We were all kicking it by the pool uh, till late night, actually. And y'all, I was getting very tired. But I was trying to be a good sport and still hang in there and just make new friends and build new relationships because that's what it's really about. So listen, this is what tired looks like. I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I've been at it. Um, now I'm ready to just go get some rest because I fly out and go back home tomorrow, but I need to sleep. I need to sleep. Everything here with South Carolina was amazing. I shout out to the whole, uh, everyone here. That really made me feel like family. Shout out to the Forward Financial crew. And let me tell you, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the world one person at a time together, man. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Fast forward, it's Sunday morning. Now we're about to head to get some grub, get some food before I actually head to the airport. Jermaine picked me up and I don't even know where what this area is called right here, but it's this really nice bridge. I didn't even know all of this was happening in South Carolina, in, in Charleston. But the architecture was amazing. 
I'm just looking forward to seeing something different and eating some new food. Y'all know me. I don't like to really party too hard, but I like to eat. I like to, to try new cuisine. So this place is called Pages Okra Grill. And it looks like it's going to be really, really good because it's packed. That's always a good sign for a good restaurant, right? Is it's packed. We're going to go get some grub. And then after this, get a little sightseeing in, in Charleston. And then I'll head to the airport so I can go back home. Thank you. I'll take those menus. Thank you so much. Okay. So Jermaine and I are working on a project. Um, we're going to be doing some things behind the scenes. And just stay tuned, man. I always believe in collaboration, not competition. Even if you're different businesses, different industries, you can always find synergy and alignment to be able to put your heads together and be able to do something incredible. And that's what we're working on right now. <laughs> That plate is warm, be sure. Thank you. And do we need extra napkins or anything? You can bring a little extra, Jeff. You can get it. So, hey, at this place called Pages Okra Grill, and had to come and check out the shrimp and grits. Jermaine said that's what I had to try. But what's interesting is that they got this thing here called a grit cake. It's fried grits. So, this is going to be interesting to see how that hit. Looks good though. And of course I had to get a chicken wing. Just just gotta do it if you're in the south. Let me see. Really good. Really good. I, I'm only used to old school grits. But this grit cake is a vibe. Make sure y'all check out Pages Okra Grill if you're in South Carolina. It's really, really good. I can try the chicken next, but for right now the shrimp and grits, 10 out of 10. So next, I gotta fry, try this fried chicken. I just got a wing because I'm not greedy, but I mean, it's crispy. It looks juicy. Let me see what the flavor like. Oh yeah, good. They know what they're doing. Jermaine, they know what they're doing. This is a win. I trust his recommendations now. So I had Rodney Scott barbecue yesterday. Now I'm having this good chicken, uh, chicken and shrimp and grits. It's good. I know that chicken and waffles probably hit me. Y'all, the fried chicken was so good. It was flavored well. It was juicy, but it was also crispy on the outside. Just how I like my wings. I would definitely go back to Paige's Okra Grill the next time I am in Charleston. But after we ate, it was time to try to get a little sightseeing in. Uh, we were headed down to the downtown area so I could learn a little bit about the history of Charleston. And what I realized is that there's so many similarities to back home so in the Bahamas. King Street. Love the, you know, old architecture. And what I really um, find interesting about South Carolina is that everything is like, a lot of the homes, at least I saw, are wooden structures. It kind of reminds me of home, homes back home in the Bahamas. Uh, I like the colors, the blues, the pinks, light yellow. It's pretty interesting. Now, being here, I gotta go do my research to find out some more about the history of Charleston. And then I gotta come back again. So what was really cool about this is like this street right here, it looks so familiar. It looks like a street in Nassau. If you've ever been to the Bahamas, you've ever been to Nassau, this looks familiar. Some of the streets are named so the exact same this thing. This is a straw market, like we have in the Bahamas, and this is Market Street, Meeting Street, and then we're headed to Bay Street, horse and carriage. Man, this is so nostalgic. It reminds me of like Nassau, but what it probably used to look like when it first built. Not how it is now, but how it was probably back in the 30s, 40s, 50s. This is pretty cool. This whole building here is a straw market and they literally have straw inside. Wow. Now, I didn't know straw was a not behaving thing. I learned today. <laughs> I thought straw vendors and the straw market and straw goods were 
from the Bahamas. So I learned something new that it's not really authentically Bahamian. It probably has its roots. And you should see me here sitting there thinking straw was just an indigenous Bahamian thing, but probably an African thing. Cause it's a whole straw market over there. Wow. And it's called Market Street. You learn something new every day. They see fruits, they see, they probably got mango and juice and stuff over here too. Pretty cool. Look at the guy over here selling straw just like they do in the Bahamas. This was so cool to see. That's why you gotta travel so you can really experience new things and learn things that you didn't know existed. Sometimes we're so close-minded because we're only used to where we go, but you gotta go outside and see now, what's my happening. Name is watching the vlog, y'all gotta see this. This is East Bay Street. So if they have an East Bay Street, clearly they have a West Bay Street too. Never would I believe that. And then after we did the little downtown area, we headed to the African American Museum. I love the architecture of this building, super modern, super nice. It's actually the kind of style of house I want um, on the water back home in the Bahamas. But this is the International African American Museum. Um, we went and just checked out some of the sites. Actually, uh, two of our business partners, two actually two of the people who were at the event yesterday, they were coming here too. So we ran into them here at the museum as well. And I just wanted to get a quick glimpse of what the museum had to offer, uh, learn a little bit before I headed actually off to the airport. So this is what it looks like, you know, beautiful structure, brand new building. It's right there on the bay, on the waterfront, has a garden with some African, uh, African plants and then they've got these stone pillars y'all I know I should do my research but I don't even know what these are so I gotta go look it up to see what these are but they look pretty cool um, I'm sure they got some type of meaning I just gotta find out if you know what these are please drop it in the comments below the video school your girl because I'm always willing to learn but this was a great experience y'all he showed me a good time y'all he made me want to come back to Charleston I ain't thought I didn't think Charleston was hitting for nothing got some stuff out here but you gotta know someone who's from here to get the experience. So y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel and I'll see y'all on the next one. Let's go.